Hello guys, thank you for coming back. Um, I saw two people are subscribing me. <laughs> I really want to say thank you, even though I don't know who you are. It actually means a lot for me. <laughs> anyway, in the last video, we integrated Git into our blog application. So today we are going to set up GitHub SSH. So today we are going to set up GitHub SSH to share our code with others and manage our code easier and better. So first, we can head over to github.com here. In here, you need an account for GitHub. So if you do have an existing one, you can continue to use it. Or if you don't have one, you are going to need to sign up in here. So after signing all, we will go to sign in. So in here, we need to click a uh, new repository. So this is going to be a specific repository for this one project. I'm going to call mine React Blog. You can call yours whatever you like. And we will just do public. If you want to do it private, you can just click in here and then click create repository um, now at this point we will run commands like these two right here but we actually can't because we don't have a secure way to communicate between our machine and github server to get that done so we are going to be setting up ssh which stands for secure shell uh, this SSH is a secure way for two machines to communicate and in order to actually make it secure we have to set up what are known as SSH keys. Now if you already have SSH keys on your machine you can continue to use that existing ones you have in place but if you don't have anyone or you are not sure if you do or not there is a simple command we can run to find out. So let's switch over to the terminal and get started. So we can type this one. To see if we have SSH on our machine or not. So if we hit the enter, if you see these two things showing up, so that means you already have SSH keys in your computer. So you actually don't need to go through the process of creating new ones. So for those who don't have the SSH keys, now we are going to create our SSH keys. So we will do this by seeing the documentation. So first go to GitHub website again. If you type git ssh in the Google search, you can see connecting to GitHub with ssh. So you can click this one to go inside. And then you need to click generating a new ssh key and adding it to the ssh agent. I click this one. So now we can just follow this instruction. This shows a different set of direction depending on your operating system. So picking your operating system and viewing those instructions down below. So I am using Mac now, so I will just click here. So to generate a new SSH key, first we need to paste this text below into the Terminal, so we go to terminal first. And here, oh, we are gonna just paste this one. And change this part into your email. And you can just type enter 
because it's better to uh, stick to the default. Uh, now I already have it, so I'm gonna just enter, type the no. So I think you can just um, keep hitting enter and enter and enter. So now we generated uh, our new SSH key. So we can see um, now we need to add our SSH key to the SSH agent. But if we see here, people adding a new SSH key to the SSH agent. So we need to check for existing SSH keys. So to check whether we already made the SSH key or not, we can simply check by typing this one again. So if you can see these two showing up in here, that means you have, so you can keep going. So now we made sure we already have the SSH key created. So we are gonna add our SSH key to the SSH agent. So to start the SSH agent in the background, we are gonna type this one into our terminal again. Just so we can paste it and then copy and paste it. Uh, in here, we can see uh, our process ID. So now we need to add our SSH private key to the SSH agent by typing this one into your terminal. So we copy this one and paste here and enter. And once we run this, we can see the identity has been added. So now we are ready to actually take the public key file and give that to the third party services. So now go back to the website and we need to click this one. So adding a new SSH key to my GitHub account. So feel free to go through the guide for your operating system. If you are using Windows, you need to. Now I'm using Mac. Also now we have created our SSH key. So we need to copy that SSH key and paste that to the, our clipboard. So to do that, we need to copy this one and then paste that into here again by just doing this now we did take the content of the pub file and now we need to paste this into clipboard clipboard in here we need to go to setting so we first go to our own keep a page and in here we click the setting and we go to SSH and GPG keys and in here we click new SSH keys and we will paste the SSH key so now we have to paste in what we copied from the our terminal so in here we copy it in here you need to write the something to remember exactly which machine you are working with. I can say just my laptop. And then you can click this one. So now I can click this because I already have SSH key in here. So now it is done setting up our SSH key. So now we can actually push our code up to github so we can go to our repository yeah, react blog in here we can just follow this one to push an existing repository from the command line so so we need to use this one first 
So go to terminal here, and then I can paste this one here, and then click it, and then the second one we're gonna copy it and paste it, click it. So now we pushed all of our code in here up to GitHub. So we're going to check whether the, all of the code are really saved well in the GitHub or not. By going to GitHub now, and we're going to refresh the page. Oh, yeah, we already get all of them in here really well. So thank you. and. Thank you for watching this video again and see you later.